Ah, Norman Westside following bare bones broadcasting. You know, some people are worried about me misleading the world. Oh, no. No, I could broadcast on YouTube till the cows come home. What I see, nobody paying any attention. All right, no, I exist. I never will. I'm good. I'll just say whatever I want. I like it. And you know what? I want to say nice things. Nicer things than this place has ever heard. That's what I want to say. Something to bring you to tears and laughter at the same time. By God. And not tears of sorrow. Tears are on your heart touched and laughter. And I'll take these tears of sorrow and shove them right where the sun don't shine. Okay? I'm about to take tears of grief and end it. Or you'll still have your grief. Only I'll tell you what, you'll be focusing on glee. You'll have grief and all you'll remember is glee. Think you like me? Because now you're trying to remember glee and there ain't any. And you're celebrating treacherism and there ain't any. Really, everything you got going isn't here. Doesn't fit. Every flag, every board, what? One flag fits. Oh, glory. The rest of them, I don't know about your flag. I wonder if it fits. Do any of the flags fit? I know the borders don't. Not one border fits. Now, the United States covered ocean to ocean. That fits. The rest of your borders, garbage. Northern border, the United States didn't have a fight. It was a big war for the northern border. Southern border really never was a war. There ain't any. <laughs> There's no southern border in the United States of America. None. There was. That's phony. They're always a bunch of bunk. Ah! How about you guys? Rest of the world. You got borders? They're all treachery. Every one of them. Bunhan. 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 Sure, man, you have then Lady Hamilton said, No, hi, Sweet Han Ha Sagi, yeah, Radunam Muntak Hau Lady D. Ye Sack Ho, my hand you shand ho, Lady D. Ye on there, Lady D. Ye on there. Let me see yen shuan the dixi shandere balandan go wanka. Kotwe shinya. Let it be yo on the sweat. Let it be you shwin the ladder ye. Sandere abando shedadeng. Let it be yan and then you queen the shashot wa. Mwa wa 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 our mate. I hate this vocabulary of vowel and consonant. You know what it is? It's the mimic. I, I, I can take vowel and consonant and mimic everything with it. Well, I'm the, sign the hell out of here. Can you say that with vowel and consonant? Sashwan <laughs> moon. Oh. How can you say that with vowel and consonant? Oh. Okay. Say that. Did you say it with vowel and consonant? Why'd you say it? I said, Ha! And see, you're always in a real mad mood, only when you say, You change your mood real quick. You go, Ah! That's what you say. That's how you say it. You usually say it when you're ready to stab somebody. You just walk over. Well, it's a, a warrior. I know about that stabbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a lot of time stabbing. You know what it feels like to take a sword and shove it in somebody? Well, go get a piece of raw meat and stab it with a knife. Feels the same. You make a big thick piece of meat. Stab a big thick or a cow muscle. But you're stabbing muscle. And it feels the same. Cow muscle, human muscle, same. Oh. Let's get a big thick piece of meat and practice stabbing it. Think people that stab people do that? They're idiots! Could you stab a human? I don't think I could ever thrust a knife into a human. Not in this life. I mean, either I've been, 
I reminisce other experiences of my genetics. They did a lot of stabbing. I couldn't do it. It repulses me. I think about, I had a dream one time, years and years ago. I was a boy. My dad had this room called the solarium. A man in my dream was breaking through the solarium door. I didn't know how to stop him. I was just a little kid. There was a pitchfork there. I grabbed the pitchfork and stabbed the man with it. I remember in my dream it felt like stabbing raw meat. How would I know that in my dream? I woke up and I had never stabbed someone and I knew what it felt like then to stab somebody. It feels like stabbing raw meat. And I learned it from that dream when I was a child. You find that interesting? I do. I know this much. I've also had dreams where I couldn't hit somebody, I couldn't stab them, I couldn't do anything. I was helpless. I just, when I went up to do it, it wouldn't work. <laughs> it just wouldn't work. I remembered what it felt like and it just wouldn't work. And I couldn't hurt anybody. And I was very vulnerable. And I had to learn to stand my ground, not able to hurt one human being. Have you ever done that? Stood in front of everyone and not able to hurt one. If they tried to make it, you couldn't. Have you ever done that? Stand in front of everyone, terrorist bomber. Tell everyone what, what's happening so you can get to their conscience. Get to everybody's conscience, terrorist bomber. And do it so vulnerable you couldn't hurt one of them if you tried. Now you started to tap on the tip of the iceberg's door. You understand me, terrorist bomber? Tap on the tip of the iceberg's door and this blowing up, remember, it doesn't work at all. That's what is going on. That's not good. You're just adding to what is going on. That ain't going to help me. <clears throat> the biggest blowing up problem you have is in the combustion chamber of your fuel because it takes a lot of bullshit to get it there. A lot of it. The bullshit's what's killing you here. Not the violence. The bullshit about lovely. The bullshit of lovely is destroying this globe. Remember that. So all those spreading lovely you need to get a lot more accurate. Then there won't be any violence. Lovely spreaders. Because you're the core of the violence. Your failure at lovely is the core of all the violence. The failure to lovely by those doing this. Pushing this. Yeah, they are. 